I'm an interventional cardiologist. Uh, that field grew out of attempts to try to correct blockages in the heart without doing surgery. The implantation of uh, stents to open up blockages to get better blood flow is a, an overnight procedure. Uh, basically, the patients go home the next day. We're actually involved in a research protocol where we're replacing the aortic valve through a catheter procedure. We're pretty much up to date in the majority or in all of the developing treatments. You may be able to have access to unique ways of, of treatment that are not available elsewhere. There are individuals today who are alive and functioning well in society that would not have had the opportunity to do that if it had not been for the advances that are provided within this type of organization. And she said, you are in trouble. She said, uh, if we can't do anything for you, she only gave me two years to live. To make a bed, I would sit down two or three times. I was doing less and less around the house. I couldn't walk very long. There's quite a bit of work occurring, particularly at Barnes Jewish Hospital, with valvular uh, activity. Um, and that's really a significant difference. In a decade ago, most valve work occurred through an open chest procedure. We're one of uh, the couple of centers in the states that actually are involved in this, um, in this big trial where we're trying to compare whether or not this new quote-unquote less invasive option is actually just as effective or um, effective enough for patients who are at high risk of having complications or problems with heart surgery that would require their aortic valve replaced. I could tell right away things were better. I can change a whole bit, you know, strip it and make it without help, without sitting down. Uh, I can go shopping and follow my husband around. In fact, I walk faster than he does now. We continue to progress uh, the development of valve technologies. Uh, not only just replacing the aortic valve, but now we're on to repairing the other valves in the heart and eventually sometime replacing uh, other types of valves uh, within the heart may be possible as well. Uh, we're looking at some new technology to fix leaky valves. And I can't praise those doctors enough for fighting for this. It only took two hours. No pain, no bleeding. I can't tell you what it will do for elderly people as soon as this gets approved. And I like the fact that uh, I could not only help people, make them feel better, in some cases save lives, then they get to go home in the next day or two. And if you talk to my husband, oh, he thinks it's a miracle.